Good morning, dear students. I welcome you all to my today's English video class. Students, let's continue our previous English grammar topic, and that is tense. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss about the present perfect tense. Okay. In previous video, I have discussed about the present simple and present continuous. Hope you all would have watched that video and understood and cleared all of your doubts as well. So let's come to this topic. Students, before coming to this topic, let me make it clear that when you are using this present perfect tense. When any of your action that has recently been completed, okay, जो अभी अभी कोई भी कार्य आपका तुरंत अभी हाल ही में समाप्त हुआ है और उस तरह के कार्य को मेंशन करने के लिए आप क्या यूज करोगे प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट यूज करोगे ओके सो लेट सी नाउ हाउ विल यू फॉर्म द अफर्मेटिव सेंटेंस ऑफ प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट सो एट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू यूज सब्जेक्ट देन यू हैव टू यूज हैज or have okay according to the person according to the number okay if it is singular or plural on that basis let me i'll discuss that where you have to use has or have plus verb third form and then you will be using object okay so this is the structure of present perfect now let's see the example if i write he has written his notes so what i write he has written his notes what you are observing he is the subject what is the has has is a helping verb here in present perfect tense we use has or have as an auxiliary verb okay this is the helping verb let me make it clear when you have to use has or have in a sentence so if your sentence begins with i we you they or plural nouns okay or plural nouns then which word you have to use you have to use have okay which auxiliary will be here you have to use have and if the sentence begins with he she it or with any singular noun with any singular noun then you have to use has clear so when you have to use has if it is the singular okay or the third person with that you have to use has hope you would have understood when you have to use has and have in your english sentences students let's go through some more examples she has sung a song okay what sense does it give it means vah geet ga chuki hai ya usne gana gaya hai usne geet gaya hai so this is the structure and what do you observe with she you have to use has verb will always be in the third form and then the object will be there okay so these are the sentences of present perfect okay to mention some of the activity which has recently finished which has recently completed and for that you are using present perfect students if you want to change the sentence into negative what you have to do you have to just use not after the auxiliary has or have okay if you use not it will become negative structure like you can change these all the sentences in negative you can write he has not written his notes okay if you use not it will become negative she has not sung a song okay so this is negative i have not played football they have not visited here i have not taught you he has not visited here theek hai they have not completed their project so in all these sentences what you are observing that if you want to make the negative sentences you have to just use the not after the auxiliaries okay so this is very simple students if you want to form an interrogative statement what you have to do you have to just follow this structure like at first you have to use wh word okay then you have to use has or have okay then you have to use subject then verb third form and then object this is the structure of your interrogative sentence let's see some of the examples like has she slept what does it mean kya vah so chuki hai ya kya vah so gayi so has she slept have i taught you kya maine aapko padha diya hai ya kya main aapko padha chuka hu so in this way what you are observing that at first you are using has or have then the subject then verb third form and then object let me write some more examples for you if i write has she cooked food okay so it means kya vah khana paka chuki hai ya 
क्या उसने खाना पका लिया है सो दिस इज द इंट्रोगेटिव स्ट्रक्चर ओके बट इफ आई राइट वॉट हैज शी कुड सो देर इज अ बिट चेंज इन दिस वॉट यू ऑब्जर्व देर इज वॉट बिफोर द ऑग्जिलरी सो दिस इज डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन ओके एंड दिस इज यस नो क्वेश्चन सो होप यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ द इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंसेज आर फॉर्म्ड वेदर इट मे बी यस नो क्वेश्चन आर इट मे बी डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर्म द डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू यूज द डब्ल्यू एच वर्ड जस्ट बिफोर द ऑग्जिलरीज दैन द सब्जेक्ट एंड द वर्क थर्ड फॉर्म सो देर आर सम सर्टन थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन योर माइंड वाइल फॉर्मिंग द सेंटेंसेज ऑफ प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट लाइक द वर्क शुड ऑलवेज बी इन द थर्ड फॉर्म एंड द ऑग्जिलरीज विल बी ईदर हैज और हैव ओके एज पर द सब्जेक्ट सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन योर माइंड ओके होप you would have understood so that's it for now thank you so much for being with me good day and take care